Hello everybody and welcome to an update video from the TVT Network on the Full Restore channel. I am Patrick, the operator of the Full Restore channel, owner of the Pat to Plays channel and this one. And I am here to give you an update on something cool. We have full confirmation about all the details of our panel at Genericon. We will be doing a trivia show called Gotta Know It All. Thank you to Laura for the name on that one. This will be hosted by... Patrick, Laura, and Bushy. Professor Bushy, Pat, and uh, Laura, who goes by many names, she's changing her channels and stuff. Um, here's the important information. So, Genericon is at RPI in Troy, near Albany in New York State. <clears throat> so if you live near the Capital Region, or anywhere in New York State, and you want to come see us and come to our event, here's your way to do it. So, Genericon is happening the weekend of the 6th in March, so it's coming up really fast. Uh, sorry for the short news, but, like, we just got the emails coming around and everything. We have confirmation on all the details. Uh, Genericon should have information on their website. Look up Genericon. Uh, G-E-N-E-R-I-C-O-N at RPI. And you can find information to get badges to come to the con. So, our panel will be... Here's the information, okay? Panel 2 on Saturday from 5.30 p.m. to 7 o'clock p.m. We originally registered for an hour lot uh, for an hour time slot, and we were originally 7 to 6. We got an extra half an hour and moved to a bigger room. So we are in Panel 2, a larger room, from Saturday, 5.30 to 7 p.m. That is Saturday in March, March 6th, pretty sure. Yes. Uh, and what you can expect there is we should have plushy prizes to give out. Um, and here's basically, here's what I want to do for the format. We'll have a list of questions to poll the audience with. So we'll be out to the audience and we'll say, blah, 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 this question. People raise their hands. You guy. You got it right. All right. Come on down. And we'll get two or three people at a time and have showdown rounds, showdown face-off things. Um, where they'll come down to a table, and then we'll have a Jeopardy set up with questions, but we won't be doing the Jeopardy game you've done in middle school, probably, if you live in the States. What we'll do is we'll offer you to select one of the questions anywhere, more difficult at the bottom, less difficult at the top, separated by uh, topics, which you can probably guess what the topics are, but let's keep that secret because they have cool names and stuff, and don't want to give you guys too much of an advantage. Um, so you'll pick one, and then we'll read it off, but we should be able to technically get it up on the, on the presentation on the PowerPoint thing, projector, uh, and we should be able to get up there, and we'll be like, question, 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 blah, 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 read it off, and then we'll have dingers, little buzzers, bell dinger things, and hit that as fast as you can, you say the question, and you say the answer, and if you're right, get a point go to best of three or whatever, like, with that little, short little battle round with the people we've called down, then the winner of that gets a prize and everyone goes back up to the stage, and we get more polling questions, we do it again. And we leave the questions that people have answered grayed out. So you, we'll try to get through three to four rounds of this in our extra hour and a half long time slot. We should be able to give out enough prizes to really satisfy at least a few people. Um, and so we should be able to get three to four We should be able to get three to four uh, prizes out, three or four rounds, maybe five or six rounds, depending on how fast it goes. And if people start by picking all the easy questions, then by the end, we'll get only into the hard questions and it'll get more difficult, more difficult as it goes on. If people are cocky and pick the more harder questions, then it'll get easier and easier as it goes on. If you want to be prepared, have a good, strong uh, knowledge of factoids about the games, the manga, the movies, the anime, and the culture in general, and Pokemon facts and stuff like that. Just know some stuff. My suggestion is to pick one category that you think other people won't be good at and just focus on that. We'll also getting a few general things because you have to answer a polling question to get down. Polling questions will be generic, usually easy questions, and we'll pick people down from that. So, not the least popular group is the manga fandom. I know that. 
So, if you think that you are perusal of the manga, then get a bunch of different manga and, like, find some online, like, n just look up factoids, uh, stuff about the characters, main protagonists and things, plot points, and know them, come down, and you can just dominate the manga section. Sections like the anime and the games and the competitive, that, those kind of sections will be more heavily populated, more contested. And eventually we'll get through all those and you'll have to go to the more obscure places to get your prizes. Tell me if you like the concept of the Gotta Know It All Challenge, and please, if you can, come down to Genericon 2016 and meet us in real life. Yeah. It'll be me, Bushy, and Laura, and Bushy's girlfriend might be there, but she will not be partaking in the hosting of the event for her own choice. Um, so, I'm Patrick. You should be able to recognize me. I will not have cut my hair by then, so... I have a lot of hair. And this is my college dorm. I'm in Plattsburgh, SUNY Plattsburgh, uh, as a TV communication student for now, uh, moving my majors around, doing a lot of different stuff. And I will have my 3DS. I recently got my 3DS back. I had lost it for three months, and I got it. I'm reunited with it. So I will be partaking, hopefully, in the Pokemon League events, so you may even see me at those and be able to challenge me to a battle. Please come to Genericon 2016 and meet us. This is a brand new great year. We're coming up across, around now. I think we might have already passed it. Full Restore is a year old. So in one year, we've strengthened this channel. We've gotten the format down pretty good, pretty well. And this summer, Full Restore should be a really good channel. I expected it would need about a year to take off. And hopefully, this Genericon, it should take off. Last Genericon, I passed out some notes and stuff and advertised it. And it didn't really traction from that. But now that it's a populated channel with a strong, lovely little fan base, we should get popular, hopefully, at Genericon and come down and meet us and stuff. This should be a really good trivia event. That's Gotta Know It All on Saturday in March. Uh, the first Saturday, 6th, it's the 6th. Um, the, whole, the event will run until the whole weekend. It is a three-day straight long event. So it goes all through Saturday night into Sunday. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. If you can make any of those days, you should totally come down to Genericon and come down and it's a really cool event. I've gone there for one year. Both Laura and Bushy have gone for two. Bushy has previously hosted event events there. I think he might have been going there for three or four years. Uh, and this is my second year. So come on down. Yeah. Oh, and new podcast coming. Uh, new new theory podcasts and stuff the really hype stuff the over analytical stuff i have a new pokemon evolution theory that i told someone this morning and they were like i have like every time they were like i agree with everything but i have one thing that i debate with we debate and i prove myself right on that it's basically so far it has no faults it's a really awesome crazy theory uh involving pokemon being from space and then we also ha in the pipeline have the kalos um, trial. Basically, with the next Kalos games, games, whatever is going to happen coming out, and probably going to be announced at uh, the Nintendo Direct, hopefully before the Nintendo Direct, we'll get in on the hype, and we'll take all the things, like the flowers, and just, we'll try to get all the myths together and try to predict what the games actually are and what Kalos' secret is, because we have so little to go off of. Um, thank you, I'm Patrick, and uh, stay tuned, and if you missed some shows on the Past Plays channel or the Full Restore channel, missed some podcasts and stuff. I recently had a podcast with my friend High Voltage. I need to get our podcast edited and uploaded, our second one we did, and I also need to record some other stuff with them. Ugh. So much to do. And midterms. So, I love you all. Go catch some Pokemon and stuff. Oh, and I am the secretary of my local in Plattsburgh Pokemon Club. So that's really cool. So it's made me realize just how much you can irk out of a community when you bring up interesting things. If you have a Pokemon Club wherever you're going to school or college, I suggest getting involved with it and really pumping it up. Um, what I did to spruce up my place was I introduced um, presentations. People come up for a minute to five minutes and start a discussion about something. You know me and how over analytical I am and I give wonderful, complicated, tricky, all-over-the-place presentations. So, 
Join your local Pokemon Club community thingy whatever today.